Today we're doing a vegan version of one of the quickest Italian comfort foods. So we've got some lovely boiling water over here and we're just gonna stick in some salt. And we don't wanna have too much boiling water. We wanna have a fairly small amount, don't need a full pan like you normally would for pasta because we actually wanna get the starch from the water. That is gonna make our creamy, cheesy sauce that we're gonna have. So let's grab a little something to stir it up. And try and get it all nice and submerged. Lovely. Yeah, pasta, you don't need to stir it loads throughout usually, but the most important thing is that first little bit. If you just stick it in, then it all seems to stick together straight away. Right, so I'm gonna turn it up a little bit just so it quickly gets back to the boil. All right, all under the water, lovely. So we've put in there about 250 grams which is a good amount for two people. Traditionally you have 100 grams per person. So we've got our salt, that'll be enough salt because we've salted the water, that will kind of internally salt the pasta, which can be delicious. Obviously we're gonna need some, well, some pepper, which, and this is what we're using as our cheese alternative, which is Engevita, which is a common, common thing that you get in kind of health food stores. And it's just these these flakes, cheesy flakes. Quite often you get ones that are infused with various vitamins and minerals. So they can be actually a really good source of B12 and vitamin D and some things that might be harder to get traditionally on a vegan diet. So this, this stuff's awesome. Much more nutritious than just the regular vegan cheese, often that's just made up of, well, a lot of it now is just made up of fat. It's like from coconut milk or something like that. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. So now this is back up to the boil. So we've turned it down a little bit and we'll stick on the pan to keep it warm. So yeah, this is like a really, a really good, good alternative. Apparently it's got a beefy flavor, this one. <laughs> I haven't noticed that. So what we're gonna do to really bring out the flavor in the pepper is we're gonna toast it. So let's turn this one on here onto a kind of medium high heat. And we can just grind in some pepper over here. And we're gonna add pepper at a few different stages in the meal, but stick it in here. When you toast pepper or spices, it, it really brings out more of the flavor. So we're gonna toast that. Gotta be careful not to burn it, but that should be, that should be good. Mm. Oh, I love the smell of fresh pepper. So we're gonna grab our plates so that everything's all ready. And we're actually gonna use one of these bowls, which is what I meant to say, rather than plates. And we're gonna make ourselves our cheesy sauce. So we'll stick a load of this, a generous amount of the, let's, let's put some more, I want it to be super cheesy. So this is a lot of Angevita. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some of the starchy water and add that into here to make our sauce. So let's get ourselves a ladle. And while we're doing this, we need to keep a bit of an eye on the pepper because we don't want it to start burning. Cool. Seems to be cooking nicely. So this pasta is supposed to cook in nine minutes. Well, I forgot to get this, the water. Uh, <laughs> This pasta is supposed to cook in nine minutes. So there should already be a bit. You see the the, the water is a bit 
a bit more cloudy now. And that's the starch in the water. So we just add a little bit to here. And we're gonna mix it up. What should we use? Hello. How was your expedition? Guess how much it was. How much? Guess. 200. Isn't that what she yeah. said? How much? 40 pounds. It was 40 pounds to send it. <laughs> yes. So Annette would tell them what you what was going on. Um, my bestie Claudia asked me to send her document to Peru. And she went on the DHL website mm -hmm. and the quote she got was of 200 pounds. <laughs> to send a document to Peru. Wow, that's so much. And she sent me that much money through PayPal, which is now processing to be put into my bank account. Ready for you to transfer like 80% right. of it back. Exactly. All right, let's add a little bit more of this Engevita. And I ate some snow because- You ate some snow? It was snowing and at some point, like I took off my mask to walk and it went on my mouth. The snow was going in my mouth as I walked and it didn't taste like fresh water. It didn't taste nice. <laughs> this is Annette's first experience of snow pretty much. Yeah. So we're gonna add in the pasta water because that will stop the pepper from burning. You can definitely start to smell it now. So it needs, needs a little bit of water so it can relax. All right. Lovely. So let's keep mixing this in and maybe a little bit more water in here as well. Yeah, it doesn't look super tasty at this stage, I don't think, but it's honestly, it's just such a nice kind of, it's, I guess it's, I think of it more of a, a snack than a meal. It's definitely not, wouldn't be the main meal you have in a day, but it's a, it's a really tasty little, uh, really tasty little treat. Just the cheese and the pasta is always just such a winning combination. Right, so let's grab our tongs and see how this, pasta is doing. We want it to be a bit before al dente, so it should, it's definitely, pretty sure it's been six minutes since we put it in. Mm. Yep, definitely ready. So we can turn it off um, and it's, yeah, definitely not not ready, the pasta yet. Like it, it tastes uh, a little bit too chewy to eat, but that's what we want. So, Add in the pasta and yeah, it's it's fine to be getting plenty of the pasta water in because we're going to need it in there anyway. So this is quite a lot of pasta to have in a pan this size, but I wanted to make enough pasta. So this is what we're going to do. Um, it is quite a lot of pasta. All right, so we've got all of our pasta out. Now we're gonna add in our, our cheese as well. And we'll stick over some of our pasta water. It's not really coming off the spoon very well. Let's just stick a load in there. <laughs> some professional, professional shit right here. Cool. Nice. So now we've got this in. The key here is we've just got to do plenty of stirring. And let's see. Yeah, I think we need a little bit more water in here. So let's keep going. And the trick is to get this, yeah, lovely creamy sauce. And Let's get some more pepper involved. We've got a bit of fresher stuff on there. And I just love that this is such a, a simple meal that you don't have loads of 
yeah, loads of ingredients or anything. It's, I mean, the recipe is called cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe. So you can see we're starting to get a bit of a sauce building up. I've still not got it all mixed in yet, but starting to smell really good. Let's just keep on mixing and we'll add a little bit more water. This is just a constant process of managing it. And one of the things I love about this recipe is there's not really specific uh, quantities that you use. It really is a recipe for just using your taste, trying it, seeing if it's got enough pepper for you, and just kind of adding things as you go. And that's really the type of cooking that I enjoy and that I want to feature on this channel. That's what I'm about, just cooking stuff and enjoying it and not worrying about having the perfect ingredients for everything and the recipes. I think that's something that's often not captured in cooking channels or in recipes is the fact that the the great part is the improvisation of like, oh, I need to make this, but ah, shit, I don't actually have those ingredients. That's, that's one of the fun parts. We're not in some magical world where we have <laughs> cupboards full of every possible ingredient we could need. So it's fun to improvise. Um, right, let's give this a little, let's grab a fork, give it a little taste, see how it's doing. It's looking nice, looking creamy. All right. Mm. Okay, you see, I wasn't adding enough water there. I let it dry out too much, so that was my bad. So you've got to keep a better, <laughs> a better eye on it than I did. Because, <clears throat> yeah, the pasta dries out super, super quickly here. And, yeah, we're, as I was kind of researching this recipe, one of the things that that really is a key of it is this... This stirring part in the pan, you've really got to make sure you it's constant. You can't let it chill. All right, we're almost there, I think. Let's, you know, with that extra bit of water, I think that's going to be good. So let's serve this up. Oh, there's a lot of water. I hope this hasn't steamed up again. So let's grab our chewy pepe. I'm gonna try and do the, the fancy thing where you twist it, but it's not really working too well. I have found that the higher the food, the better it looks. Obviously, the bowl was already pretty messy, so that's not not going to win any prizes for presentation today. But just, yeah, that's something that I I realized is whenever you see, I think it was from watching MasterChef, whenever you see them present food, often one of the keys to making it look good is to make it high. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, some, sometimes this happens with these, so... Whoops. All right. Ah, oh, shit. All right. <laughs> we can just use this bit, it'll be fine. So, yeah, one of the keys is just getting it high. The taller it is, the better it looks. All right. Almost finished. There's one little ingredient that I'm gonna add that's not traditional, but I mean, this is not a traditional recipe because I'm making it with Engevita rather than Pecorino. Cool. So, what I like to add is, I really need to control myself. I just keep, keep eating as I'm talking and supposed to be doing other stuff. Where is it? Uh, we need our lemon juice. There we go. So yeah, I love 
bit of lemon juice. Just freshens it up a bit. And we're gonna add some fresh pepper on top. And I love a bit of extra salt, just because I love the texture of the, the fresh salt when you get these little, little bits of salt that melt. I think it's lovely. So we're gonna grab ourselves a little bite. I think, yeah, there we go. This is gonna be the famous shot for the thumbnail, hopefully. All right, let's go. Moment of truth. The sauce looks so nice and creamy. I'm really happy with it. Let's go. Mmm. Oh, that's so nice. Lovely heat from the pepper. Nice creamy sauce. Pasta is cooked just right. Not too soggy, not too chewy. Oh, yeah, I definitely recommend this recipe. Give it a try. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.